Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, we will see how can we create a navbar in Angular, and we will also create a reactive form for the sign up. We will get the values on the click of the button. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to in this hour. So the first one is a sign up, and the second is a login. So let me add here the path for our sign up component that is a register and here we need to load our sign up component and after that we need to add a path for our login component and here we need to load login component and after that, we need to add here the tag that is a router outlet to access our routing components. Let's go to our UI and here I'm going to add a path for our register component. And you can see sign up component loaded successfully. And here I'm going to add path for our login component. And you can see the login component. So let's create a nav bar. So let me add here the code on the top. You can see. That is the NZ header, and here you can see the first div with the anchor tag, car and the service, and here you can see the nav links that is the sign up and the login. And you can see the SCSS properties for the nav bar. You can see the error that is a NZ header, not a non element. So we need to register this component into our Angular. So let's go to our app module.ts, and here I'm going to add these imports. That is the NZ spin, NZ forms, button, input, and the layout. And we also need to add these names into the imports. So let me add after that. And you can see error removed from our app component.html. Let's go to our UI. Let's go to our app component.html. And you can see the buttons on the sign up. I've added here the router link. And you can see here the path for our sign up component that is a slash register. And you can see the login button. And I have added here the router link that is a slash login to navigate the customer to the login component. So let me click on this sign up button and you can see it's navigating us to sign up component. Let me click on this login button and you can see the login component. Okay. So after that, we will create a reactive form for the sign up where we will get the values on the click of the button let me close all the other files and here i'm going to add an html code you can see here the code of the form that is a form tag and you can see the input for the email and you can see the input for the password and you can see the input for the confirm password and you can see the input for the name and you can see the register button and the login button now let me add the properties for the css you can see what is the problem so we need to declare this is spinning into our ts so let me add here and it will be a type of a boolean and let me initialize with false let's save this go to our ui and you can see the sign up form so now it's static we need to make a reactive form and we will get the values on the click of this button so let's go to our ts and here i'm going to initialize the variable that is a sign up form And we will initialize with form group. And here I'm going to add constructor that is a private FP form builder. And after that, I'm adding here ng on init lifecycle hook to initialize our reactive form. And here we need to restart sign up form is equals to this dot fp dot group. 
and here we need to declare our inputs that we got from the form so the first one is a name and it is by default null and i am adding a validation that is a validator start required so the second we need to get that is a email and it's by default null and here i'm going to add a validation for this email that is a validator start email third is a password and fourth one is a check password for the confirmation that the check password is match with our password or not so let me add here check password so we need to bind our ds with html so let me copy the sign up form and go to our html and here on this form tag i'm going to use a property that is a form group and here we need to give sign up form and after that we need to bind the inputs with our ts so you can see the input for the email i'm selecting here the property that is a form control name and here we need to give email and you can see the input for the password so i'm adding here form control name and the password over here that is a check password so i'm adding here form control name and the check password over here and the fourth is name so let me add here form control name and the name over here okay so let's save this let's go to our ts and here i'm going to create a method that is a register on this i am printing the whole form into our console so i have added here the console.log and in this we need to add this dot sign up form dot value to print the whole form into our console so let's save this and we need to invoke this method on the click of this button so let me add here a click event and here we need to call this method so let me open here the inspect near the console and i'm adding here the email password confirm password and the name let's click on this register button and you can see the values that we got from the form let's say the password like test and i am adding here test one two three let's click on the register button and you can see the values of the password and the check password is not match so we need to check in the angular that the password and the check password is match or not we need to allow the customer only when the password and the check password value is matched so to implement this functionality we need to call here a method that is a import this form group let's save this let me copy the name and add into our method so the purpose of this method is to check the values of the password and the check password okay if the values is matched then it will return confirm true okay so let's save this let's enter again the data johan and the password that is a johan if i'm adding here a wrong password like johan at the rate one two three two password that you have entered is inconsistent so let me add here johan again and you can see error removed so let me add here the name like johan click on this register button and you can see the values of the form email name password and the confirm password over here you can add it one more property on the button like disabled and here we need to check that is sign up form dot invalid let's go to our ui and you can see our register button is disabled it will remain disabled until the user enter the data like if i'm adding here 
email password confirm password and the name the button is enable if i'm removing the email and added here the name instead of email and you can see the button is disabled and you can see the login now button so let me click on this button and you can see it's navigating us to the login component okay so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye